sorry, back to the uh, back to the knockdown. Uh, the lift when you started to throw, started to land the lift, took over his right hand. Is that a uh, was that an adjustment that you made, or is that something you saw in training camp? As far as you can land that lift over his right. Hand? Yeah, that's something we saw in training camp. Something we saw on, on film. Uh, Verge, my you know my coach Don and my other coach Jack, they called it. They they felt like the left hook was gonna do it, and uh, we almost did it. Wasn't able to pull it off though, completely. Andre, we noticed that uh, you weren't using your right hand during the middle and late rounds. Was there a reason for that? Mm hmm. I think that just goes back to just you know getting a good groove and you know just being consistent with my fights and and stuff like that will flow. You know, sometimes I don't know. I don't have an answer for that right now. Um, I just got to watch the film and, and maybe try to figure something out. I'm, if we got time, I'm good to keep. Yeah, I'm fine. I got to ask you this. Did Nate Diaz originally choked out with Greg? Mm, that's the homie. you spent time with him in the ring, what was it like to spar Nate Diaz? He's, he's hard to fight. I mean, he's really hard to spar, really. And they call it the Stockton slap because he'll slap you to death, man. And I don't mean that in a, in a bad way. Like, um, am I supposed to be drinking this because they sponsored this? <laughs> I'm to it. Can I? It's a good look, though, right? I like this flavor. He's a, uh, he helped me get ready. I sparred with Nick and Nate. When I, um, Nate helped me get ready for Chad. And um, he always comes in shape. And he throws a million punches from a million different angles. And I felt like he had a great shot against McGregor. I just was worried about the 10-day notice. Uh, when he started letting his punches go and he landed that short left, I, I knew he had he, I knew he had action because he uh, he's just a bad boy, man. He don't you know they don't care, man. They just come to fight. So I'm happy, man, because I know they don't always get the credit that they deserve. And uh, for him to come in and upset the apple car like that was it was, was I was so happy, man. I, it was two boxing matches on that night. And I didn't watch any of them. So my first UFC fight that I paid for, and uh, I'm screaming at the TV, man, let's go, baby. Like, I was pumped. My boy did it, man, so I'm happy, and it looks like he's probably going to get another shot, too, with the rematch, so I'm excited for him. Hey, Ward, Sergey Kovalev, he has the long arms, he has the long jab in the right hand. Do you plan on fighting him different than Barrera, like more on the inside, or, or how do you fight someone like that? I don't know right now, man. I got to, I got to, we got to figure it out. Um... I feel like that's the mark of a champion. It's somebody who finds a way. We gotta find a way. And I'm very competitive. Um, I'm up for the challenge. And we gonna find a way. Andre, I picked up a friend on Market Street when I got to town that was attending the fight. There was a group of homeless people and I mentioned I was here for the Andre Ward fight. They all collected to cheer it. What do you think you do for the uh, two of the spirit of the city? Um, I mean, not just me, but you know, all the athletes that are that are from here, the ones that 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 play here and represent the Bay Area. I mean, this is a special place, man. Um, it's not the biggest place in the world. I think Oakland has probably about a half a million people, um, and just even not just Oakland, but the, the surrounding areas, um, just all over. It's it's just a special place. We support our people, you know, in a special way, and. We don't always get the credit collectively, but that's just more reason to keep working and keep fighting. And, and I love it because I remember, you know, when I first wanted to fight here, people were like, Oakland? There's nothing in Oakland. Why you want to fight in Oakland? And I just kept believing. I kept pushing for it. I kept asking for it. And now, you know, along with myself, guys like Marshawn Lynch, Damian Lillard, you know, the Warriors, uh, Draymond, Steph, Clay, all them guys, like, now on the national stage, Oakland, California, everybody knows about Oakland, California. Uh -huh. So it's a beautiful thing.